Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Drawings Tumblers here today. And I've actually already vinyl wrapped this cup. I just have a cup that I've sanded and I've placed the vinyl on it. And I kind of want to go into more of the other processes today. So I will link the tutorials that I've done on full vinyl wraps in the description box below. Um, you make sure to go check those out if you are new to vinyl wrapping and you want to see more in detail. But I've vinyl wrapped it and now I'm just going to do a quick little layer of Countercultures Quick Coat. It just helps seal the vinyl so I can make sure that my epoxy is going to adhere to where the vinyl is wrapped around the cup and then also it helps this vinyl um, adhere to the bottom of the cup so i found that once i place this on the bottom it prevents any lifting once i go into my next layer of epoxy so i've got my little silicone brush here and i just do a very thin coat and i'm going to spread it as evenly as i can across the cup and then make sure i get the bottom so that vinyl on the bottom of the cup won't lift either and this amazing vinyl that we're using today is a camo leopard it's pattern number 14 from the vinyl cottage this is a pattern that i found months ago and it i just felt totally in love with it so i've been holding on to it until i found the perfect thing that i wanted to do with it and i finally figured it out so you guys are gonna get to see it today and after I let this layer of quick cut dry for about 30 to 45 minutes, I am gonna go into a layer of epoxy and I'm using Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. I'm only using about 20 to 25 milliliters here just because I want a really thin coat here just as a little protection for my vinyl is the main reason. So I'm just gonna use this uh, Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. I let it dry for about four to six hours. I do use a torch after I apply it just to pop any bubbles, just a quick run over, not too much heat definitely because I'm just applying a thin coat here and then I'm gonna let it dry for about four to six hours so after we finish this and let this coat dry for probably about six to eight hours I'm gonna use some of this marble cracked ice foil and it's from Southern Belle Glitter she cut in the most amazing foil colors there's like 36 I think that are patterns and colors and she's continually getting more in and I have just fallen in love with these foils there's so many things that you can do so many ways that you can add them to the cup you can add like the full sheet here or you can just add like little pieces at a time so I'm gonna kind of do a distressed look on the cup and I just had this spray adhesive that actually is for stencils. So to lay stencils down on things, but it works the same. So that just happened to be what I had on hand. So that's kind of what I've been using. Cindy recommends that you use a 3M77 multi-purpose spray in the red can. Not the green kind, it's the webbing, but the red can. But this has worked great for me. So I think really probably most any spray adhesive, as long as it's not a webbing kind, um, and then it just sprays on evenly would work. So literally you can see, I just cut off a little sheet you spray it on the cup where you want it and then I just start applying the foils so you can actually lay the whole sheet down if you wanted it to cover the whole side but you can see I'm just kind of going around where the camo areas are and then where my seam is and I'm just trying to blend it in so I love these because I like the distressed look instead of just maybe the whole sheet look on that side and so you can just add just a little bit at a time and you can use the whole sheet just like over and over you can see the foils coming off so you can just put it right where you want it to and i have learned that once you spray give it a couple of seconds to dry before you apply the foil because the stickier it is the better like you definitely want it to be sticky enough where it'll come off but if it's too wet it kind of just rubs around it won't actually come off on there so uh, you kind of have to just kind of stick it stick it stick it pull it off you know do it like that until it's actually really sticky but they are so easy to use y'all and I don't know if you've seen some of the other cups I've been working on, but I am loving these foils. foils. They come in all different patterns, all different colors. To me, like now I just have, I'm like a kid in a candy store. There are just so many options with these things. And you can see how easy they are. You literally just spray the adhesive and stick it right on there. So here I'm just basically working my way around the cup and I'm going to do the bottom also. I did not, where I pulled the vinyl around, I wasn't sure if I was going to put a piece of vinyl on there, but I saw, you know what, why don't I just go ahead and do some of these foils on there just to cover the bottom. So, and just to add a little holographic. So I love this, this pattern because it has the gold and the black holographic in, so it just seemed to blend it all together. So you can see I've kind of just, I, I'm doing it as a swirl around in the same pattern that the actual vinyl is and just kind of adding to that camo pattern here 
and then you can just go back like on the bottom and on the top because obviously like what I tend to do it I tend to not get right at the top of the cup so you can see here after I look at it I think okay I want a little bit more at the rim of the cup and you can just go back in and add it right there y'all this stuff I just love it I can't even talk about it enough it's so great so I will link it in the description box below for y'all and it is Southern Belle glitter and then I did not seal the foil. I have used them on several different cups. I have not sealed them. I'm just going straight into my layer of epoxy. And there's really no dry time. I mean, it probably sat for 10 or 15 minutes while I was mixing up my epoxy and doing a couple other things. But there really wasn't a drying time on that spray adhesive. It was pretty much dry once you stuck you know the foil on there so i am going to go into my next layer of epoxy and i'm going to use about 25 milliliters this time of countercultures medium viscosity artist resin i'm going to apply that i'm going to use my torch and i do use a burns matic ts 4000 with just the propane bottles on the bottom and you can get that i think i got mine at the ace hardware um, i will link one of them in the description box below i think it's in my um, amazon favorites things list the one i actually use if you guys are interested but i do use that and i just do a quick swipe over it just to add just a little bit of heat to pop in those bubbles and then i'm going to let the coat dry so I do let this coat dry for about four hours and then I'm going to go into another layer of epoxy here. So I'm going right into another layer. I wanted there to be a layer in between where I laid the foils on the cup and now I'm going to go in and add some micas and some armor art and I didn't want them to be directly on top of the foils. I wanted there to be a layer of epoxy in between. So again I'm adding about 25 milliliters of epoxy to the cup and then I mixed up more because I'm going to pour just a little bit probably like less than five milliliters in several different medicine cups so I can add my mica swirls and then I'm going to throw a little glitter in there too. So I'm going to mix up all, everything I'm going to put on the cup first and I'm using Countercultures Armor Art and then Metallic Gold. So you can see I just put a little bit in the bottom. I've got about five milliliters of epoxy. I don't need that much. It's just hard for me to get less than that in the cup and really get a good mixture. So I just add a little bit. Really you just have to squeeze a little bit of this Armor Art. It goes a long way. I'm going to mix that one up and then the next one I'm going to go with is going to be Woody's Goodies. And Magical Gold. This is a really pretty white that has a gold tint. I love Woody's Goodies Micas. I've always loved them. They just have the most beautiful colors. And so I'm just going to take my tool here and I'm just going to pick up a little bit on the end and mix it in. It doesn't take very much of this either. Obviously, there's not a lot of epoxy in the cup, so it doesn't take very much. So I'm going to mix this one up. And then next, I... The counterculture came out with these things called precious metals and they're heavier than say like a mica or a glitter so this one's actually world tour and it's in fine and it's actually metal flakes so they're going to sink a little bit so i feel like this was going to add a little bit of depth to the cup so i'm actually going to put them on there first and i just scooped up a little bit you can kind of see i did not do like a very thick you know mixture of these like i would maybe if i'm doing glitter to apply to something so but they just give it a little bit of sparkle y'all i wish you could see this in person the sparkle that these things give off are crazy so i hope that in the final video that i do where you can i hope you can see it really good because these things add so much sparkle i have like used these in molds before but i had not actually put them on a cup and i thought this is the perfect cup to add these into and they do they are going to sink to the bottom of whatever you put them on so in this layer of the of epoxy they're going to kind of sink to the bottom of the epoxy where a lot of the other stuff is going to sit on top and just add a little bit more depth to this but y'all i just wanted to add them to the whole cup actually and i didn't i refrained but I really wanted to once I got them on there and I could see the sparkle that they were putting off I was like oh my goodness I love these things so I do start with them because they are the heaviest so I'm going to layer them on and I'm kind of doing it like I would do you know if you're doing like a swirl milky way gypsy leopard any of those designs I'm kind of doing it on the outskirts of where those leopard prints are on the vinyl and so I'm just kind of trying to outline that little area I'm trying to leave the open area so I can put my decal on there and then after I do that I'm going to go in with the magical gold you can see here and I just take this little silicone tool it looks kind of almost like a pencil on the end and I basically use this tool for all the any kind of micas or glitter I swirl in a cup like this and I just kind of take a little bit on my tool and just run them on there I don't like them to be straight so I kind of will go back in and do like a little squiggly on them just to kind of make them give them a little bit of movement um, and I have let the cup sit for a few minutes at this point because I don't want them to run too much 
Um, I kind of like to, if you guys have seen me do this before, you know, I like to have control over the micas. And then I've also added the gold armor art here too. So I've added that and then I kind of just go back in and I'm just seeing, you know, any little areas you can see, any little areas that I want to spread it out a little more or I want to add the little, you know, add a little more movement to it if it's looking like it's too straight or if there's just a big glob of it somewhere i can go back in and wipe that off so you can see now that i've done that i'm going to go back in with this um armor art metallic gold here so sometimes i put it on first but this time i decided i wanted it to, to be the last thing before i put the glitter on i didn't want too much of this and um, there's already so much going on in this cup and I, I know I tend to sometimes think like more is better, but I tried to refrain here. And you can see I'm just very, I'm using a very little amount here. Like you can just barely see it where I'm just kind of stringing it along. And actually this one, I usually, I kind of just more paint it on like you almost would with a pencil. And you can see those little areas that are just too thick. I'm going to go back in and just spread them out. So you can spread them up or you can spread them down. And I kind of do it in like a squiggly motion. I don't know if that's the word that <laughs> the, the appropriate word I should be using. That's the best one I know to describe. You know, you just kind of do it like a little squiggly just so it's not a straight line as you're putting it on there. And then just kind of go back and squiggle it down through there a little more. So I'm just going to go back and touch up any areas now that I've pretty much got everything on there that I want to as far as the micas go. Um, I add a little bit, I go back and add a little bit more of those precious metals y'all from counterculture. They were just so pretty and they don't provide like a, a, a thick coverage. They just kind of add a little bit of a sparkle, almost like you're adding an additive into the epoxy. So, I mean, you, it's almost like you just can't add too much of these. So, if you guys have not checked these out, get them and try them. Because this is the first time I've put them on a cup, and they are amazing. This will not be the last time you see me use these. And now I'm going in with Nicole Merritt Original, a vault custom collection called Tribute. And it is like a white and gold here. Um, it's more opaque than you think it is, and I'm just... I'm just kind of running a little bit of it through there. After I'd added that counterculture, um, the precious metals, I didn't want to add too much, but I wanted to add just a little bit of dimension here with a little bit of glitter. I just can't help myself, y'all. It's just, I, I just have to go back and add a little bit, even though I did not add very much. You can see I'm just putting it in tiny little places. Um, and then I've let that coat dry now for about six hours. And I'm just kind of showing you because I wanted you guys to see these precious metals if you could. Because they, see, they just make it give, the, it's like a crazy sparkle. I love these things. So I've let this dry for about eight hours. And I did print off my decal. I printed it off in a four by four, I think. I know it's four inches wide. I'll list the exact measurements in the description box below. This was just a quote that I found on Etsy that I liked. And I liked the shape of it. And I thought it would fit right in that little spot of the leopard um, where I'd left it open. And I did do this in this gold textured vinyl. And you'll see this on there. I do change it. I decided that I wanted to go with more of a champagne color. So I do switch up the vinyls from like the gold texture to like the like a champagne gold linen. So I will list, list, link those below. But I just wanted you to know that I did put this decal on there and I was like, eh, it's just not exactly the right color gold. So I did decide to go back in with the more champagne color. I wanted it to blend in the cup. And for some reason that this gold just... It just wasn't working for me, so I did change it out before I went into my next layer of epoxy. And then after I've switched out, you can see I've gone now to more a champagne color that just seemed to blend in a little bit better with the vinyl pattern. And I've mixed up again Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin, and I'm going to use about 25 milliliters on this cup. And I'm going to apply this coat. I'm going to use my torch to pop any bubbles, and I'll let that coat dry for about four hours, and I am going to go into a final layer just because this vinyl here this text any kind of textured vinyl is a little bit thicker and normally i would apply after i've done any kind of holographic or um any kind of this textured vinyl i would apply a layer of quick coat but because my cup had not been drying that long it stuck pretty well and there weren't any there weren't any places that i thought were going to pull up so this time i actually did not but normally i would especially if you let your cup dry anytime make sure you put a layer of that counterculture quick coat over it because it will prevent your decal from li lifting but this time i just kind of went it was pretty tacky still so i just went right on into my next layer of epoxy but because this vinyl is a little bit thicker it did take two coats to have a to 
be my final coat. So I apply this coat, wait about four hours, and then I apply another 25 milliliters of Countercultures Artist Resin. And then we're going to have the final design. And y'all, I cannot keep talking about these. That pre Those precious metals on there, I hope that you can see. I hope you have a big enough screen where you can see these things sparkle so crazy. And some of you may or may not have noticed at this point that there is an S missing and I do notice this and it does get corrected But the video had already been uploaded by that point So just wanted you guys to know I was aware that there's an S missing and it has been corrected But thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial I hope y'all learned something about foils and please join my Dixie Darlings Tumblr's Facebook group We go live every Sunday night and it's such a fun interactive time. I love to catch up with you guys I love to sh see your creations. So definitely join and share your creations with me and please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun, crazy stuff so you won't miss my future tutorials. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all again soon.